uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Uh, thank you to the organizer to give me the opportunity to present the strategy of CNRS in the field of materials and mechanics. Um, I am really sorry because uh, in my talk I have absolutely no equation. But maybe after the fantastic pizza we had during the lunch it's better. Uh, a couple of words of what is CNRS. And after that, uh, the short description of the three strategies we wanted to follow. So, um, CNRS the, it is uh, the French scientific uh, and technological public organization devoted to research and improvement of knowledge. It's uh, the largest uh, and fundamental research organization in Europe. And, um, of course, it uh, generates knowledge, which is its use, uh, for the benefit of society. But not only, it, it, uh, it generates knowledge also, like said um, Professor Dieudonné, which uh, was a, a French mathematician, um, for the honor of the spirit human. So, um, we have uh, in, inside the CNRS a large infrastructure, of course, um, and in particular, the CNRS is represented in uh, 10 different fields. You have here the 10 different fields, mathematics, chemistry, physics, engineering, sciences, and systems, etc. Of course, uh, in terms of materials, it appears it doesn't appear clearly here. Materials belong to different institutes, engineering sciences, of course, physics, chemistry. Chemists uh, think that they are the most important uh, uh, in the field of uh, materials because, because they create it. Uh, physics, ph physicists and engineers think that uh, they are the most important of so because they measure the properties. And also biologists, because, uh, you know, human tissue are also uh, materials. Mechanics uh, is not compared to the same, because mechanics is uh, part of mathematics, of physics, engineering sciences, and also of information technology. People in use use mechanics too. So, um, Exactly in, in, in the field of uh, amount of people in the CNRS we have something like 34,000 scientists, engineers and technicians in France. Uh, almost 25,000 are permanent scientists and uh, engineers. Almost 7,000 are directly interested in material sciences and almost Three, four, three thousand. It is complicated to count because, uh, you know, some of them are partly uh, interested in mechanics, uh, fundamental and applied mechanics, solid mechanics, fluid mechanics. So we have a, a little bit more, one thousand units, laboratories. Uh, and uh, what is special is that 90% of research is performed in partnership with universities. So the scientists who belong to CNRS are also in labs who belongs, which belong to universities. It is a mixture. Um, CNRS published uh, about uh, 25,000 uh, papers per year. Uh, and it is a physical result if you divide by, by the number of people. So, uh, also uh, in CNRS, uh, we had 19 Nobel Prizes uh, and uh, 11 uh, uh, field medals in the area of mathematics. In the field of mechanics and materials, that's the repartition of people in France. Uh, on the left part, it's solid and structural mechanics. On the right part, it's more fluid mechanics. You know, uh, 
Of course, it's also classical. We can consider that something like 10 centers are mainly devoted to mechanics and pushed by the seniors in, in France. Um, that's a detail, but it is not uh, so important here. Uh, CNRS is also very interested in the construction of international labs. Uh, and you have here the international labs in the field of engineering sciences and systems, uh, for instance, uh, with US for between Georgia Tech, uh, uh, Atlanta, and, and MES in France, um, uh, uh, one part of them with Japan, etc. So, now uh, what were the strategies built, built up by CNRS in the field of, of material sciences? The three strategies, invent new materials, tailor materials, and design materials and structures. And of course, this, this strategy use different things in the field of mechanics. So, um, I will present to you very briefly uh, the key word in each point and one or two examples also in each, in each uh, domain. So, invent first, first strategy, invent new materials, is very important because it is not an application driven research. It's completely fundamental and, and we have to keep it. Um, of course, when I, new materials include new functionalities. Um, the key words in this field uh, are mainly proposed by uh, uh, physics. Uh, high critical temperatures to preconductivity, for instance, graphene, nanotubes, a lot of things. You know, in, in my opinion, I'm not... This, this uh, proposition of strategy is, of course, the results of discussions between physicists, mechanicians, mathematicians, etc. I don't agree so much with the importance of graphene, for instance, but, especially in the field of mechanics, but it is. Uh, replacement of materials for, for instance, rare earth, it's very important uh, as a strategy for CNRS. And also, materials and proper properties computation. So, example in this, in this field. Uh, for instance, the, the simulation of uh, of graphene on the left part, uh, we up to the rupture, with a, you know, you can find a lot, a lot of publication in this field. Uh, why not? It's, uh, it's possible to have results. It's completely uh, 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 without application driving research, clearly. On the left, on the right part, it's very interesting, and maybe one part of you should, could be interested in uh, metal organic framework. You know, you can create, uh, it's, a, it's very close to chemistry, uh, you can create very complicated framework with which uh, you can have very special properties like um, swelling, absorption, drug delivery, a, a lot of properties which appear with this type of structure, with this type of framework. It's also a discover without uh, application driving research. It's a, a pure uh, a basic research. The second strategy is to, to tailor, to improve the tailor, tailoring of materials, um, to improve the properties by uh, improving the, the functionalities, create new functionalities. Um, and um, the key word in this field could be um, a lot of things linked with biology, biomaterials, tissue engineering, biomimetics, which is important for us, but also spintronics, oxytronic, um, material for energy conversion, uh, all the de all development for uh, photovoltaic application, tailored surfaces, not only materials, but also surfaces, and the field of metallurgy, we, we, we believe that the new metallurgy is extremely important and um, I think that it is a point we have to take care because the number of uh, specialists in this field uh, decrease in Europe and we, we want to keep the knowledge and the, and the ability in this field. Some example of tailoring materials, you know, um, 
we know of course uh, what is exactly the different steps different scale in for instance in homoids and um, we can model each scale of this uh, uh, of, of different scale we can model it mm, but the, the question is not is not to model each step because we know how to do that if we model each step uh, with a conservation of each parameter which model it you, you can obtain a model with a lot a lot of, of parameters and you can do nothing with that so the question is what to forget at different steps, at different scale, in order to obtain interesting modeling for different applications. An interesting uh, application of tailored materials, materials is the self-healing polymers uh, given by Jean-Marie Lane, Nobel Prize in 87. Um, it's a, a reversible network uh, of uh, oligomers which can um, uh, linked with directional hydrogen bond and you can repair it, cut it and repair it very uh, fast uh, in order to keep completely the, the, the physical and mechanical properties so it's, the, it's due to the tailored materials uh, ap approach um, it's more than uh, basic research but it is not application driven research it is an intermediary step between. Then, last point, uh, design materials for structures and systems. Um, key points in this field, you know, um, of course, computational material science, I should add computational structures also. Um, the key words of the classical engineering mechanical, uh, mechanical application materials, life cycle, uh, durability, reliability, risk, toxicity, uh, processing, uh, all those, that points are, are, are very important. And in terms of specific application of materials, composite materials, bio-based materials, um, smart materials and bionic materials are m the, the main uh, uh, main keyword for, for CNRS actually. One example is uh, chosen in the field of uh, combination of mechanics and chemistry. For instance, for this type of application uh, in composite materials for, uh, for plane design, uh, you can have uh, some damage which are given by specific oxidation and then you have to build up a model which linked uh, which use uh, the classical equation of mechanics but also the classical equation of oxidation of, from the chemistry from the chemistry and it is not easy to link so 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 good so 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 much these two sciences in order to have a modeling uh, which is useful, which is useful for engineers who design this type of tractor. It is also possible to have example of work uh, which merge the three different strategies. For instance, here, the work of Albert Fert, uh, you know maybe uh, this, uh, this uh, physicist. Um, he was uh, at the beginning uh, is to die the, the spin diffusion in metals and spin diffusion in, in metals is completely not application driven research. It's fundamental basic research. Due to the results observed in this field, um, he can he, he, he try to improve the properties by the realization of metallic multilayers. It is a type of uh, tailoring of materials. And due to that, it was the beginning of the discovery of the, of the giant magneto resistance. And after that, it was exactly the beginning of the birth of the spin tronic. And the spin tronic uh, 
has a lot of application, for instance, telecom application, uh, artificial synapses, devices, etc., which is completely, which use a design of materials. So you can have here a complete view of all the strategies, keeping basic research, try to have um, a strategy um, to build a specific archi architecture for materials and of course try to create the condition for the design of the best materials and the best structure. So, what are the, the, the main consequences in the field of mechanics? We uh, suggest to not to keep because every everybody, every team, every team can can work in the you know the freedom of the scientist. Um, but we want to push uh, a lot of teams in order to to have a specific uh, work. Uh, first, in the field of theoretical mechanics, we think that it is important to keep the knowledge and to improve the knowledge in the field of, of theoretical mechanics. You are uh, one partly, uh, you are a theoretician. Uh, in, this, in this field, the question of multi-scale mod modeling is important, but the full theoretical mechanics is important too, from uh, gamma convergence to modernization, etc., etc. We have to keep this knowledge and we measure that it is not the case actually in Europe. The amount of scientists who are uh, working in this field decrease in France and in other countries in Europe. So it's important to have that in mind in order to keep the knowledge. Second uh, consequence for mechanics, uh, the importance of computational mechanics. At, from ab initio to uh, finite element calculation, XFAM, etc., all the new methods for calculation. Uh, it's very important and it is complicated to keep it because a lot of scientists use it, uh, but mechanician knows that it is uh, uh, very difficult to obtain money, to obtain funding in this field of uh, research. Uh, because uh, we, it is easy to obtain funding when you have an application specific, but for the development of this tool, for the development of numerical research, it is extremely difficult actually in France, but also in Europe, to obtain funding. The third point, the third point is very important. The third point is the dialogue between tests and modeling. And, um, in this field, it is not the classical test for materials, but it is the test, uh, the structural test. For instance, when you create a new, a new plane, uh, Boeing or Airbus uh, told us that they need to have something to, to do, uh, uh, something like 60,000 structural tests before the first uh, flight. Of course, it costs a lot, it takes a lot of time, and numerical application can decrease that, can decrease the cost, can decrease the time in order to, to build a new, a new, a new plane. Uh, but that need to have a better understanding of, on the simulation of these structures test with the, the modeling you, you create. We want to take care on this, on this point. The four, the four, the fourth, the uh, point is, uh, is concerned by different fields which are not completely the center of your uh, work here. Nonlinear mechanics, of course, we are here, fantastic contribution and I profit of my talk to, to thanks and to congratulate everybody here. The, ne the level of your contribution is excellent. Um, Nonlinear mechanics, which include damage, material damage of structure, which include rupture. Of course, engineers need to have the simulation, the prevision of the rupture of the material and, and structure. Um, and also, how to take into account the uncertainties. How to take into account the uncertainties. An engineer work with a lot of uncertainties. And how to include it in your model. That's a very important point. And last, not least, the 
coupling, I told you an example between chemistry and mechanics, but there are a lot of other uh, combination, mechanics and biology, uh, mechanics and physics, uh, of course mechanics and mathematics, but it is usual. And um, the dialogue, the dialogue is not easy. Uh, we believe that uh, it is sufficient that to, that to, to, to put two guys, a, sci a, a, physici a physicist and a mechanist, uh, etc., a mechanician, to, uh, together and, uh, in order to, get, to discuss, in order to build something, but it is not true. Uh, it uh, uses um, money in order to create a real combination between sciences. And that point is very difficult, especially during that time for which the economy is not very, very good, uh, that time in which the economy is very bad, you can uh, say that. So the amount of money of CNRS, of course, uh, will not increase, we know that. Uh, and then the core or decreases, and the money can can be obtained by the the, to the way of the European Foundation, the European Scientific Organization, and then uh, the the problem is that the Europe is uh, mainly organized in the field of application right and research, and so how to keep the knowledge in this time? That, that's a problem. So. Uh, just one example uh, in the field of uh, numerical simulation, the question of, um, you know, a, a new type uh, of modeling which use uh, proper, gen proper generalized decomposition, which can give for engineers very nice solution, uh, not very accurate solution, but nice solution for problems which had no solution before. It, the, the question is to have a new solution before nothing. And of course, this type of method cannot give accurate solution, but can be very interesting for a lot of pro engineering problems. So, that was uh, different ideas of the strategy of Senores now. And uh, I just thank for your attention. Thank you very much. like to say that it is a discussion, but in reality it is a fight between countries and the, uh, uh, you know, Europe, uh, the, the, the European politics is uh, the result of a fight between each country, uh, in science also. So, of course, we, we tried to uh, orientate the, the European politics of Europe in the field of science. We won partly in different domain. Uh, we lost partly in other. For instance, we wanted to keep more basic research funding in the European organization. In that point, we lost. European funding is mainly based on application driven research. So, um, that, these strategies are now the strategies take, taken into account by Europe um, up to 2020, uh, in, the, in the framework we know. Um, the problem for France is that we have also in France um, uh, a system to give the funding project and the problem in France is that the, the core, the French, the national uh, core are also application driven like in Europe and then what to do when uh, scientists want to develop and to keep the, the, the basic uh, research. That's a real problem and up to now we don't have really solution to this, to this, uh, this problem.
Excuse me, I didn't hear you clearly. Yes? Of course, yes. Of course, yes. Yes, 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 of course. Yes, so, so, so. With uh, NSF, with DOE, with... Yes, of course. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, we, uh, as I shortly told you uh, in the in the slide, uh, international uh, agreements, etc. We try to develop agreements, coordinations, etc., uh, country by country, uh, and not only in the European framework. So, with Italy, of course, that's the reason that, uh, and uh, I'm, I, I wanted to come here also for that that we push the creation of an international lab between, between the MEMOX and the Federation of Labs uh, in Paris. Uh, and uh, we wanted to create the, the, this international lab at the beginning of the next year uh, in order to push the fundamental knowledge that you uh, represent here. Uh, I get to some facts and to observe to you. Uh, in, in the first round of the strategies was theoretical mechanics. Right. But I, I wonder how much of this is effective. I just will tell you a couple of facts. Twenty years ago, more or less, a colleague of mine, a South American, wrote a paper on regional mechanics. Uh, continue to suffer results of course of Russian uh, recognition. And uh, he wanted to read yesterday because he was not able to publish it. <coughs> because no journalists managed to publish his papers in regional mechanics. This is one thing. The other fact I was in contact with the Institute of Siena, the Italian Siena, which is the Istituto di Applicazioni del Calcolo founded by which is uh, applications of computation. Yeah. And uh, in the recent reform of the CNR, they didn't know where to put physically this easy. So they put it into earth science, something like that. So there was no place, definite place, where to make fundamental research. Look like in mathematics was a, a slave of other hmm. disciplines which were considered more uh, strategic. So I, I wonder in the quarter uh, how much uh, effective could be this, this, uh, this uh, voice, uh, theoretical mechanics in the first place. And I make uh, another example about France this time. Last year I attended a called the Mechanics Week, but this was not organized by universities or by the government or by the CNRS, but just by a group of students, which uh, realized that uh, the young should be taught theoretical mechanics, which is not uh, taught anymore uh, in, the, in the high schools. And this costs absolutely nothing, really just the internal, to promote this type of activity you just have to buy a test. Papers and some computers. I agree with you. Yeah. I agree with you. But yeah. So, what I can do is not so easy to promote this type of research because uh, the amount of money required is infinitesimal with respect to other disciplines which require other things and so on. So, I, I, I am asking you which is the classical, uh, the practical strategy to put into practice this you know, type. I don't know if I have uh, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Uh, one example of a uh, possibility is that CNRS reviewed each year uh, something like uh, uh, 300 scientists, researchers. We can define what topic 
and in a topic exactly a uh, subtopic, you know? Yeah. And in that case, we can have an action yeah. on the evolution of the system. Yeah, but so, uh, and should my also position is to, to push on uh, this uh, support. You should also have to have a, a instrument to do this, for instance, a set of theoretical mechanics. Thank you very much. that it was not so easy to have a uh, meeting working at the PRC also who made the next presentation uh, possible because he's down here uh, oh, uh, and, uh, the list of names and I would like to use the transition here to sum them uh, in the team of Francesco I mean you are, we have already found the lot of Francesco but we have to think a lot also